So I just wanted to run through a few changes in where buttons that I use a lot in Final Cut Pro 10 have moved now that we're in Final Cut Pro 10.3. So the first one that I'm often looking at is the render and export uh, progress bar. So that's moved from the middle here in Final Cut Pro 10.2 up to the top left here. So you can see this little circle. If we click on that, then we have the same background task window that will pop up and we can review, pause, stop the tasks that we're, we're working on there. So that's the first one. The second one is how we show and hide the inspector. So if we come across to the right hand side here, we can click on this button um, on the top right to show and hide the inspector and the shortcut for this is the same as it was before so command of four and then if we move down command of five will show and hide our effects on the bottom right the button for the effects is on the right hand side here this small purple or white button that we can see here and that will show and hide the effects and then this button will show and hide our transitions and you can toggle between the effects and the transitions. We've lost a couple of buttons here for adding audio on our Mac and also for generators as well. And those buttons that were on this bottom right hand side have actually moved up and into our sidebar on the left hand side here. So you can see we've got our photo and audio sound effects navigation and our generators for titles and backgrounds up here as well on the top left hand side, which is more in keeping with other video editing applications that are out there. And one other significant button that's moved in the interface is where we go to zoom in and zoom out of our clip. So changing the clip height and that type of thing. And that button is across here on the right hand side now. And so we can, you can see we have the different options for viewing our timeline as audio only, as audio and video in different formats. And then also for adjusting the clip height and zooming in and zooming out of our timeline. When we're working within our libraries, on the top left here, our library sidebar, we also have a similar move. So the tool for zooming in and zooming out of our library thumbnails here now is up here at the top. And so we can zoom in and zoom out and see more or less detail of those clips in our library up here on the top left. And to finish off, I just wanna point out that the share button has moved up here to the very top hand right of our interface in Final Cut Pro 10.3. It's moved from uh, the middle of the interface here. So we've shifted it up to the top and it's kind of this uh, more subtle button uh, that we can see up here on the top right. So that's a quick tour of a few of the buttons that have moved around and I'll be posting some more tutorials as I spot different things when working in Final Cut Pro 10.3.